Covering Calhoun County tonight, they are dancing in the streets of Jacksonville. At least they are in these seats. That's because the JSU men's basketball team is heading to the NCAA tournament for the first time in the school's history. And this is not only a big deal for Jacksonville State, it's also a big deal for everyone in Jacksonville. CBS 42 sports anchor Simone Eli joins us there live. Simone, this is an exciting time, as you said, for everybody there. Yeah, Sherry, it really is. There is an exciting vibe here on campus and, of course, in the community as Jacksonville State makes their first NCAA appearance. Now, they've become, they've overcome all odds to make it to the tournament. The Gamecocks, they were picked last in the conference. They go and they win the conference tournament. Now they are headed to the big dance. Of course, the team is pumped up. They hit the practice court today. They found out their fate yesterday. They earned a 15 seed and will travel to Indianapolis to play the second seed at Louisville. Uh, the Gamecocks, of course, they were practicing today to prepare for Friday's matchup. The team says the support from the community has been overwhelming. I spoke to some pumped up students who are proud to call themselves Gamecocks. This is awesome. It's what Cocky Nations live for. Hashtag fear the beak. Any success that comes here, I mean, Cocky Nation, I mean, we, we kind of get around to everybody and, uh, you know, it's great for them and great for the university. So uh, best of luck to them and can't wait to watch it. Yeah, and there's only one place you can watch the big game Friday. That's right here on CBS 42 News at 145. The team will be leaving for Indy on Wednesday. Of course, we'll be there to capture all of the excitement. We cannot wait to see the Gamecocks on the big stage on Friday. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Alabama. Uh, we, we have Troy. Troy and Jack State and both Jack made it. State, so it's going to be good. And it's always fun, this magic that happens again here in March, right here on CBS 42.